Hello Libra, this is your bonus reading for August 2020. The universe or spirit, whatever you want to call it, picked you, picked you for the next reading. So I'm looking for new energies, positive energies in this bonus reading for Libra, Sun and Rising. As you know, it will not resonate with all Libra individuals, but I tried to reach as many as possible. I really do. And I do shuffle these cards prior. You know, before I even turn on the video, I shuffle them and I um, try to get the vibe, you know, for whatever's coming in for each and every sign. Again, for Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising. It'll be the five card spread. I will give a mini love reading for Libra at the end. Also, a pick a card, pick a pile, pick an energy reading. Let's see what's going on here. Hmm, Seven of Swords, Libra. Getting that a lot lately for people, but Libra, someone is trying to get by with something. It's coming in energy, but you know it. Um, they don't pull the wool over your eyes. You see everything they do. You see everything they're about. And um, it could be anything. It could be family. It could be career. You know, like I said, you know, like job, money. It could be anything. It could be a lover situation, but we'll find out. Seven of Swords energy. Someone's trying to get, do you some wrong, but, you know... They think they're getting by with something, but they're not. Past energy. Seven of Wands. In reverse, someone's getting very, very defensive in the past. I will clarify these also. You can change the story up. Obstacle, walking away from defensiveness. See that bear? Walk away from the bear. But Eight of Cups, walking away is the obstacle. Current environment, the sage. It's like the Hierophant. Um, the sage is about... The all-seeing eye, as they say, but it's also going before a counselor, going before a teacher, uh, conformity in society. It's all those things. Sometimes it's going, um, taking on new contracts. Some people actually get married before the preacher. It's all kind of things. I will clarify because we don't know what it is yet. It'll be different for a lot of people, though. What is coming towards you as the outside environment um, someone is not getting a wish fulfillment on the outside coming towards you. They don't feel like they got something they wished for or hoped for. I guess that I'll clarify. In the end, the universe. It's a good card. Putting away old karmic cycles and starting something new. Let's see what's going on. Something finished and now you're going to start something new. But let's look at the past energy. I'm going to use the 8th house to row here. This here is the, um, the naked heart if I haven't mentioned it. But the, the clarifying cards will be the eighth house to row. <clears throat> now you got the seven of wands in reverse. Someone's very defensive, whether you or other people or everybody. But the seven of wands in reverse. I need two cards, please. Two cards. Saturn and Libra, five of air in reverse. Yeah, you're not wanting to deal with anybody. You're not wanting to fight Seven of Water. Someone's going to give you a lot of options or offers. And you may not accept everything. And it may irritate people. And they may pop off at you. But you're like, I'm not even going to, you know, talk about it with you. I'm not going to discuss it. But you're going to get all these, like, options and offers. That is, for some people, it feels like it's really a good thing. But it ends up being something they really don't want to deal with. But I do feel like you are like... I don't know if I want this and someone pops off at you or vice versa. The obstacle is walking away from conflict. So the eight of cups in the upright. I need two cards, please, for Libra. Let's see. King of Earth. This person can be an earth sign, earth fire, or someone is not feeling real stable and secure in life right now. Yeah, and they don't want to put an end to something. Someone doesn't. I'm feeling someone doesn't want something to end. They don't want you to walk away. Or maybe you're wanting this not to walk away. But I don't think so. Because I see that Seven of Swords energy where you see someone doing something they're not supposed to. They think they're getting by with something. And maybe you said something and people get defensive and they say, well, I'm going to give you this and this. I'll do this and this for you. And there is a conflict there. And someone is thinking about walking away and the other person may not want you to. Like I said, it could be vice versa. Now, the sage 
is in the uprise, the current environment. Maybe it's telling you to go before a counselor, you know. But I need two cards for that card to find out what more going on because it's so many things. Two cards, please. Nine of water. You get wish fulfillment. Hmm. Wheel of fortune. I think you may go before somebody. I think it's, it's, you may go before somebody, but it also could be like society in itself. You're going to be getting wish fulfillment. Your, your fortunes, your fortune is changing. You got the Jupiter card there. So you're going to get wish fulfillment and things are going to change around you. You can get contracts. Like I said, society may accept you. That could be it too with the hair or font. But I do feel like so, you're going to be looked up to. But I do feel like you're going to get different offers from people and not accept them. Because you're getting something else coming in. It's wish fulfillment. And because you're not going to accept whatever someone's offering you. Because you see that Seven of Swords energy. The person on the outside is not going to be happy about it. They want to get wish fulfillment with you. But it looks like you're going for wish fulfillment. But the people that are coming towards you. Like I said, it could be a job. It could be anything. They're not going to get what they're wanting from you, you know. So the Nine of Cups in reverse. I need two cards, please, for Libra. King of Air. So this person got air, fire, water, and fire. Mars and Aries. Two of fire. Yeah, this person... It's having trouble making a decision themselves. And they're not happy. And they're not getting wish fulfillment. It's like, you know, they, they got... It's like they refuse to make a decision. That's what it is. You know, they got where they could stay where they're at. Or move forward passionately in life. And they're not doing it. Could be an air sign that you're dealing with. Um, someone more mature. But there's like... I feel like their tempers are really short. Or words are real short. You know, with each other. But I feel like... It also could be that they want you to make a decision towards them and or a situation they're going to offer and you're not going to do it because I see something else coming in for you and they're going to be a little upset, you know, but I do see a karmic cycle ending with the universe and a new situation starts for you um, where you start a new uh, uh, beginning that is meant to be. Let me put it that way. So the universe in the upright, I need two cards. For Libra, bonus reading for August. Two cards, please. You're really getting something good. I think it's really good. Page of Fire, something you're going to go passionately forward. Yeah, something you're going to move passionately forward. You're going to feel like the, uh, the world is a little chaotic when you end a certain karmic cycle, but you will move passionately forward. Um, King of Water, you're dealing with someone a little bit older. I see... For a lot of you, someone could be a what? All the signs are here. I don't. You, I don't like to assign one sign because it doesn't really matter. But I do feel like someone is a little over emotional. You're dealing with in the end. Um, something's going to be. You're going to cut out a karmic cycle. You know you are. That's it's over. You finished it. You know you finished the, the the challenge. What you were supposed to do in life, and now you're starting something that something else you're supposed to do. Something with passion. But like I said, I don't feel like everybody is for it or everybody understands it or everybody, um, I don't, I don't think they want you to move. It's not, they think terrible things of you that you shouldn't go forward in life and get what you're wanting. They just don't want to be left out of the situation, you know, and they want you to make a decision towards them also. But you got something going on that's a little interesting. Maybe we'll pick it up in the next reading or we may get a whole different energy. But I'm going to give you a love reading right quick with the angel romance. I do see you starting something that you're going to really like that will turn your situation around that may last a while. So I need three cards from the angel romance, angel love cards. One card a piece. You could pick, you know, pick a card, pick an energy, pick a path, but I bring them all together anyway, as you know, for secondary energies at the end. So three cards for Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising for the bonus reading at the end of August. three cards from the angel answers they usually give you pretty good advice 
Angel Answers. I need three cards from you also. For Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Bonus reading for the end of August. For Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Three cards, please, for the pick energy. And we'll do the Moonology cards, because everybody likes them. And I like them, too. And they're real easy to shuffle. They keep a while, you know. They keep, you know, their form. They don't bend up too you know, much. But I need three cards for Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising, the end of August. Bonus reading about love. Tell us about love, please, for Libra. Now, as you know, these will not resonate with everyone. But, you know, try to reach as many as possible. Now, if you pick this section, this pile, you may go on a little bit of a trip for some of you. You may decide to go on a honeymoon um, type uh, holiday. Uh, some of you may actually get married. That's a hair font also. But it could be that, you know, go before the preacher is what I'm trying to say. But I do see someone going out there you know, enjoying themselves. And there is something better out there. If you feel like someone isn't there for you or in the past, there is something better coming along that you may actually enjoy with somebody and actually, like I said, go on a honeymoon situation. So, so there is something better out there. And your dreams need a practical plan. So be practical when you move forward in, in life. I do see a new karmic cycle starting. So think uh, practically, your dreams will come true if you uh, keep yourself level-headed. But it could be have to do with love. You know, be practical about love. There is something better out there if you feel like there's nothing there for you. And I do believe some of you will be going on like a really romantic trip. If you pick this section, someone's dealing with children. Maybe you have children or the person you're dealing with. That has something to do with, do with your love situation. Some of you may be expecting soon. So if you don't want that, be careful. You are ready, it says. You are ready to take on this. It has to do with children. You are ready about love and family, and that, that will bring children, possibly. But nothing yet is set in stone. You have a choice. It's up to you whether you want to do this. You're ready, but you don't have to do it if you, you know, don't really want to. Pay attention to red flags when it comes to relationships. Some of you may be attracted to the wrong type of person. There is a caution type cycle here. So if something is going on with somebody, like this person on the outside, I just feel like they're not getting wish fulfillment from you. Maybe you don't know. Maybe you're not noticing. Maybe it's because things are going in a different pace for you. Pay attention to red flags. Someone's not happy, okay? In a year from now, though, things will be completely changed when it comes to your love life. I know people don't want to hear a year from now. But, you know, 2020 is kind of a... a a jerk, jerk type year. We hated it. It was terrible. I don't care what anybody says. And so I don't want anything from this year. Anything. I don't want to remember it. I want to deal with it. I don't think a lot of other people. But a year from now, things will improve for you in your love life. But right now, but you're going to have to pay attention to red flags. Someone's not happy. Okay. In the year and now, they're not happy. But a year from now, it's going to get really good. Meditate, contemplate, and relax. Um, Try not to push things. Try not to stress out. Try not to um, put your life where it's at unease. You know, meditate, contemplate, be practical, bring these together. You can go away with somebody. Somebody is feeling a little left out, so it's up to you whether you reach out or not, okay? Um, there is something better. If you had a past relationship that didn't work, there is something better, and you may actually enjoy this person. This person in the future may have children, or you may want to have children with them. You are ready, but it don't, doesn't have to be for all of you if this is not where you want to go. Pay attention to red flags. If you're dealing with somebody right now, somebody's not happy. They really are not. I did see that Seven of Swords energy. Someone's feeling left out. They may be checking you out. They may feel like you're doing something underhanded when really you're just starting a new type energy that, you know, is going to be good. But I also see... A lot of you are putting away the old things that did not work out. And you're finally putting them in the rest and you're going to start something else. But pay attention to red flags with that Seven of Swords energy. Someone tries to do something a little underhanded. But like I said, you see it. I do believe you see it. And a year from now, your life is going to be so much better. And, all you, and until then, meditate, contemplate, relax. 
Um, there are meditation type things on YouTube. Just do a search that'll help you to home in to where you need to go, you know, and relax as you do it. Because I do feel like someone's going to get under your skin a little. I do see defensiveness, but I also see in you being very chill about it if you meditate, you know, you don't let it get to you. So this is your reading, okay, Libra? I'm going to let this go. It's a bonus reading. Something, you know, of wish fulfillment is coming in that is uh, pretty substantial. It will last a while, and it will turn your fortune around. But it's up to you concerning your love life where you want to go. You can go with somebody and have a family and do what you need to do. But it's saying to take your time doing it because all things will work out eventually. 2020 will pass, and I... I do not mind that at all. I'm sure you don't either. Let us go. I will talk to you later. Okay? Bye.